this is Mike Bot here. Today's review is going to be on this roll up electronic drum kit, model number RJ760MD. So, this is a fairly uh, budget electronic drum kit to get people started, I guess. It's not your roll in system, the five, six, seven hundred dollar electronic speakers. This is just a little cheapy ninety dollar electronic speaker, which is perfect for someone that's looking to start out drumming or just see if drumming is the right thing for them. So before I start my um, review on this speaker system, I'm just going to show you this old Yamaha system I have, just to show you the difference on how they've come, how far along they've come. So this system is fairly thick, it's heavy, it's not foldable, but it's a fairly solid system. Drumsticks it came with are fairly good quality. The foot pedal it came with is extremely high quality as well. And even the plug is a fairly decent quality plug. So this system is what I'm comparing this to basically. So a really old system that's like 10 some years old versus something off of Amazon, which is more recent. recent. So to start off, I'm just gonna open up this box and show you guys the stuff that's in here. So here's the drumsticks that came with this. It came with uh, software, which I'm not gonna use. A uh, little card, I guess, to show you that it that it's for kids, I guess, I don't know. Uh, and a user guide to show you how to use the product. I have not looked into this stuff yet, but I will eventually. Fairly, basically figured out this speaker system on my own. So once again, drumsticks it came with and real drumsticks. It's a big size difference, big quality difference. Real ones, other ones. These ones are really cheap. I'm actually gonna make my own drumsticks using my mini lathe. There is a mini lathe uh, review that I've done. Um, check out the link that you're gonna see pop up right now. All right, so without further ado, so this drum system, like I said, is foldable, extremely lightweight, extremely basic. It's got uh, built-in speakers on both sides here. Uh, the plugs on the back, you got headphone, MP3, the foot pedal plug, the USB, and the on-off switch. So if you want to record onto your computer, you're going to probably be plugging into your headphone jack and then using like a Behringer um, little mixer. Uh, MP3, I assume, is to plug your phone in and listen to, speak to music off of the speakers that are built in. The button's up top, so once you turn it on, you have uh, volume up, down, the style of drums, that changes this, the drum uh, sound, basically. Uh, demo, I haven't pushed that button, but I assume it just shows you what you're capable of doing. Record yourself playing, play back your uh, music that you've done. Uh, this button here, I don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's a rhyme button. Start, so I haven't used any of these, but this is probably tempo down, tempo up. This is the little record light to tell you that it's recording and the power light. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this speaker system in and then turn it on just to show you guys what it sounds like. So I'm just going to grab my extension cord. Okay, so before I turn it on, I forgot to show you the pedals. So nice thing is this one actually comes with two pedals. These pedals are nice, but they're really, really lightweight and cheap versus Mr. Heavy Duty, which actually feels really, really good. So I'm just gonna put these on the floor. Actually, I'll leave them here for the demo so you can see how they work. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by flicking the on switch. So you see the little uh, red power light is on. Put the volume up a little bit and then And the pedals. So next I'll show you a different style. Now we'll do another style. Another style. The speaker is pretty loud actually so I'm gonna Put it down to its lowest setting and then put it up two notches. So we'll try another style. Just 
gotta find a style though. I kind of like this style. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try the demo button. Okay, that's kind of useless. Oh, there's a few different demos. Okay, stop. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these pedals down. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this speaker system is the cables are extremely short for the pedals and the power. No problem for the power. I could always find another USB power plug, but it's a little annoying for the pedals. Okay, I'm just gonna... All right, let's try this out. So yeah, it's, these are really small drumsticks and they're cheap. Let me try another style. Two and three and four and five. Anyway, I gotta figure out how to drum. I don't know how to do it. So this here doesn't do anything, but again, you got one, two, three, four, five drums, two, three, four syllables, pedal one, pedal two. So this pedal here, would mimic uh, the cymbals, I guess, going like this. If you know what I mean on a real drum set. This here, I forget what it's called, but it would be uh, to give you that bassy sound. I really don't like these drumsticks, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the real ones until I make my own. Hold your drumstick like so, you want to leave it loose. So that's a little demo of how this drum system works. Cheap little drumsticks, change those. Otherwise, I think it's a great starter set, gives you an idea if this is something you're going to be getting yourself into. Uh, I wouldn't go ahead and invest onto a, a heavy duty system like a Roland or a Yamaha, you know, those big electronic speakers or even a real drum set until you've played around with something like this to see if this is the right system for you. So I think that's pretty much it for this review. I don't have much more to add. I haven't added the software onto the computer, so I don't know what that entails. I haven't read the manual yet, so I don't know if there's some features I don't know about here yet, but it's pretty straightforward. Like, it's not much to it. Just gonna go ahead and turn it off. It's supposed to be foldable as well, so you can carry it anywhere you go. You can probably connect an external speaker to it if you wanted to uh, do a show or something. Uh, I think that's it for this speaker system. So now I'm gonna just show you this old Yamaha one I have, just to show you the uh, difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in here. This was the on button, there it is. Okay. Uh, where's the volume? Is it not working? Hmm. It's wrong here. I must have plugged something in wrong. Oh, that's why I plugged in the uh, pedal into the into the headphone jack by accident. So another thing I want to add is this uses six and a quarter, while the other one uses the three and a half millimeter jack. Okay. So here's the pedal. The system does sound a lot better. The speaker is a lot louder. It's a lot clearer, crisper but you only have four. This is just a mini system. I'm sure they came up with a bigger version of this. So just in comparison, this is not as portable. It's a lot of feedback on these. If you miss, you hit the plastic, it makes a weird sound. So overall, so yeah, so overall, I think I like the newer system better. Sounds better, it doesn't 
you don't like, like every time I miss or if I hit the edge, it makes that plasticky sound. While with this one, you can hit it anywhere and it doesn't make a sound unless you actually miss completely and hit the table. So. Okay, drum roll. So without further ado, please like my video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I appreciate that very much. And here's the system one more time. Thank you all for watching again today. Mike Bot out.